Welcome to this course on Python for Engineers. My name is John Hedengren, and a little bit of background on myself is that I attended Brigham Young University and then UT Austin for my graduate studies. Worked later in industry for companies such as ExxonMobil on automation and process control. And then finally, I came to Brigham Young University I've been here for 10 years and teach courses like Process Dynamics and Control and Python and Machine Learning for Engineers. So throughout this course, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the basics on how to get started with programming and how to use spreadsheets like Excel. When we think about programming, we think about another tool that you can use to become more effective at engineering problem solving. So that's really what we're teaching in this course is not just the programming, but you have a particular problem that you wanna solve and we're gonna be using the best tool to be able to do that. So throughout this course, we're gonna teach tools like Excel and spreadsheets, which are often a good way to prototype or just import data and be able to analyze it um, or more advanced tools like Python. Let me review some of the course content with you. To access the course, come to apmonitor.com slash CHE263. And on the right, you'll see the menu of all of the content that's available, some of the course information. We have other related courses as well. Excel and VBA, that'll be the first part of the course. And then we have Python as well. There is some parallel material in MATLAB as well. So for example, if you select Python optimization and then come down to the bottom, you'll see the same problems solved with Excel Solver and then also MATLAB optimization toolbox. And so it helps you translate between the different languages if you need to, for example, perform optimization. Let's go down, there's also a Java course available. Uh, there's an overview of Julia and then some content on MathCAD as well. The focus of this course, however, is gonna be on Excel and VBA and Python. Let's go up here to the schedule and go ahead and select that. The first part of the course are these six classes and then an Excel midterm exam. These six uh, content areas are here on the left. So for example, if you wanted to select functions, you get an overview of Excel functions uh, and sorting and lookup. And then you can also access MATLAB or Python if you'd like to see how to do that in those languages as well. And then the other thing you have here is after you select the homework and look at the problems. Okay, so there are the first three problems. You can complete it with Excel or a spreadsheet program. Then there's also a Colab notebook. So this is a Python notebook that you can select and it should be able to run right from your web browser without needing to, um, to install anything. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run all and you'll see it run so that you can display videos uh, for example, and then you'll get to the first part where you need to correct some variable names. So you'll do that uh, and recognize you can't start with a number. You might uh, need to get rid of spaces and then also any disallowed characters. And then you can run the code and then proceed on. Okay, so each of these are going to have uh, you know different, okay, exercises that are going to be available in both for Excel but also in Python. Okay so here is the Excel homework and then the equivalent one in Python. Now if you get stuck along the way there is some homework help right here. So for assignment number one you have some knowledge building but also the solutions. Here's Excel solution two and three and then also a Python solution. So if you select that, you'll see that it comes up with a solution video. OK, 
Okay, and that's the case for all of the problems throughout the course. All right, let's come up here. Um, there's also compare languages. If you just like to get an overview of how the languages compare, you have some competencies. So this describes the course on how we take you from knowledge and comprehension. We do a lot of applications with the homeworks, but then we get into analysis, synthesis, and evaluation with our projects. All right, there's also a YouTube playlist. If you just like to skip right to uh, the playlist, it has all of the different videos that are associated with the course, and there are many. All right, and then the related courses, you have the Begin Python. This is our course project uh, for the course, where you're going to use this temperature control lab device to be able to adjust uh, heaters and also an LED. So you get to see from Python, it actually changed some values uh, where these will get hotter and you can try to control the temperature much like you do a thermostat in a home. All right, so there's uh, all of the material here. If you need help, uh, you know, there is help that is available uh, with the homework help and also leave comments in the YouTube videos if there's some part of it that you didn't understand and I'll try to get to those as well. So I hope you enjoy this course. Uh, it's again programming for engineers. We cover Python and spreadsheet programs and all of the content is available here online. We'll also be adding some quizzes here as well to help you test your knowledge.